Oh, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. This is just a quick update video because I haven't really made a lot of progress on anything except for this. And not really enough to show you any final results. So here we go. My workbench and most of my workshop is out of commission for the next week, maybe, while the paint dries. But I've given this a good clean up and soaked in some evaporust and scraped all the paint. And I've got this back to shiny grey cast iron again. So hopefully, every time I go past it, I won't get filthy dirty and black which is a really good thing so we've got a coat of undercoat on and the first coat of enamel tonight and this is just a sort of a woodland green I tossed up for a while what colour to paint this and to be honest I'm not sure this is the really the best and I wanted something that reflected a bit of light so it had to be gloss and something that was easy to video I actually don't mind this now it's on here it's not an original drumming colour it would have been black and black machine tools really aren't the answer I've decided so this will be easy to keep clean and you'll be able to see the world puddles and be able to hopefully film it a little bit better so we've got the I've just tapped that back on there out of the way but the rams all cleaned up and painted the tables cleaned up and painted and the base the nut goes on here for the height adjuster there's, when you have a look, there's what looks like a chip here, but it's just an imperfection in the casting and hasn't quite cleaned up. So it's been like it since new. I think I don't see how that could ever be chipped there. It's under the gib. These castings are fairly interesting for anyone who's foundry minded. There's absolutely no draft at all on any of them. And they've all got square corners. So whoever moulded them did a pretty good, jolly good job of it considering. There's, certainly if I was making patterns I'd be putting a bit of draft on them. And probably a fair bit of radius in all the corners because they're a bit of a challenge to mould them. the handle, top plates, and the table. So really I'm thinking most of this is probably pretty good. There's still there's still oil oil scraping marks in in here and in here and if there's any real wear it's probably in the top here where it's done the most work and I might give this a rub on the bottom surface just to see how that looks with the with the surface plate and see if it has got a bow in it and might even fix that if it has and we might do the bottom surface of this but the rest I think is going to we're going to live with anyway that's that's the update we've got a couple of pots of evaporus going it's filthy dirty because most of this black awful lead based cancer patient paint come off in the evaporus but I've only used one bottle 
so I'm pretty pleased about that. And that's pretty much what I've been up to this weekend. So thanks for watching and something a bit more meaningful soon.